y'all are this is your buddy george jones over at the bergen gun range with my next installment on eight i got this old used gun the old used gun i got today is this guy this is the beretta model 21a in caliber 25 acp let's look on that gun make sure we're right there it's uh well 21A. The Breda 21 and 25 ACP. Now this gun is also available in 22 long rifle. Uh, I think that's the straight model 21. The gun's been laying in that case and it's got stuff on it. Well, we shoot it anyway. Uh, this is a 25 ACP, straight blowback operated, a double action handgun. Okay, so you can pull that guy straight through there like that. Or you can cock it every time. Either way, you can cock it and then put it on safe, you know, and then I don't know why it's that way, but it doesn't need to be because you can just pull it straight through. Uh, got a magazine catch is back here. It's almost a heel catch, but it's back here on the back of the grip back here. It is of the tip barrel design. So you get that little lever right there and the barrel will tip up and then you can simply put one in it. The tip barrel design uh, is a design that Beretta came up with in the 1950s. And you see the tip barrel design in some of their designs all the way up to 9mm. I think they made something called the Cheetah in, um, I think it was the Cheetah in 380 with a tip barrel and they made a nine millimeter with a tip barrel but most of the tip barrel guns you see are either the 950 you know the beretta jet fire uh the beretta mix which is in 22 short uh the jet fire is in uh, 25 acp uh, and the tomcat which is the next size up on this gun which is the 32 ACP version. And then they made a slightly larger gun in 380 with a tip barrel, and they made a couple of different ones in 9mm with a tip barrel. For some reason, though, the tip barrel doesn't seem to work out as well in the larger calibers as it does in, say, 22 or 25 or even 32. Uh, this guy holds uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 with 9 total in battery. Uh, we're going to shoot this guy right here. I'm going to get me some ear, ear, ear floppers on. We're shooting Winchester Western. Uh, this. <laughs> That's uh, kind of a historical box right there. This box was uh, $3.45 it's marked when it was new. This is probably a box of ammunition from the 1960s. Okay, and there's got a few left in it. I've got a B-21 police silhouette set up down there at 15 yards, which is probably pretty ambitious for this gun. And then I've got a 10-inch uh, uh, CNC or shooting, shooting, shooting fart, or whatever it is, a D liar, right in the middle of it. So I'm uh, going to cock this guy up here and give it a try. See how it actually shoots at 15 yards. Got the little pinch and fly shooter sight on it, buddy. I don't think it was their intention for it to be used as a target gun. think I've hit the shoot and see yet. Oh, there it is. There it is again. There's another one, just a slap bullseye. There's another one on the shoot and see. It's seven o'clock. appears to be empty. 
Well, isn't that something? Uh, this gun doesn't have a decocker on it, so we decock it manually. Let's load it back up. Give me another box of. This is Winchester USA in the white box. It's from the, like 1970s or 80s. It seems to have a mixed bag of ammunition there. Okay. Let's get this one in there. Shut that guy down. Get this some in there. Load that old boy back up. It's not the fastest reload, and probably not a gun to have in a gun fight. The 25 ACP is kind of a zippy little cartridge, just to tell you the truth. Uh, most of them are loaded somewhere around 1,200 feet a second. The bullet is typically between a 50 and 56 grain bullet weight. Uh, try one more round out of this guy. Cock it the first time. Okay. It, yep. Let's go and look at our accuracy. Fifteen yards is probably a little ambitious for a one and three quarter inch bore twenty five automatic. Uh, but there's quite a few bullet holes in that target, and all of them are in the eight. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there's one down here. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, eight, and eight, sixteen. There might be two and one there. I might have completely missed it with one. Okay, fifteen yards. Serviceable defensive accuracy at fifteen yards. Serviceable defensive accuracy at 15 yards. All right. Let's see what kind of serviceable defensive accuracy it has at seven. Maybe some bullets in there.
Now let's see what it did at seven yards. Put a couple in the chest center. Then I decided to go for headshots. Uh, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So at uh, seven yards, it becomes a really acceptable gun. Now the big question is, how well can you defend yourself with a 25 automatic? Well, let's put it this way. <coughs> this is my wife's EDC gun. And uh, this is my wife's EDC gun. She doesn't exactly carry it every day, but uh, I carry a 25 automatic <coughs> as a backup gun. Um, people carry 22s. People carry 22 shorts. Um, you know, a thousand feet per second to 1,200 feet per second, 50 grain bullet, close range. Uh, nine round capacity uh, probably a pretty pretty serviceable gun at close range uh, I say this all the time no thug is looking forward to getting shot six or ten times on the 22 long rifle they sure as shooting aren't looking forward to getting shot four five six seven nine times with a 25 ACP uh, you know bigger is better but sometimes bigger isn't convenient. So, 21A is a defensive firearm. Yeah, yeah, I'd go along with it. Serviceability and accuracy are, are uh, pretty high in terms of what it is. So, would you use it as a defensive gun? If it wasn't convenient to carry a 45 automatic or an LAR Grizzly, uh, yeah. I'd use it as a as a defensive gun. Well, that's about the size of it. Uh, like, take, share, fire, commentate, and subscribe. Uh, drop me an old dollar in the Patreon bucket if you take an ocean too. If you like my content, like, take, share, fire, commentate, and subscribe. All right then, we'll see y'all. <laughs>